the concept of adab in Islam is a concept of literally of education. We could translate it as manners or etiquette that has to do with something that has to be learned for your disposition and how you interact with another thing, whether it's other people, whether it's even Allah, right? Um, so we talk about what are the sort of ways in which we're supposed to comportment, maybe comportment's a nice way to translate it. Um, what's our behavior towards Allah? What's our adab with Allah, right? That's the most important thing before even other people. It's not just saying please and thank you, right? It has to do with giving Allah his due rights and honoring him in the way in which he deserves to be honored. And the most important part of that is Tawheed and avoiding shirk or avoiding any sort of anything that could be confused with, you know, taking that gratitude which is only due to him and putting it towards anything else, nothing of which deserves gratitude, right? And then it has to do also with, um, you know, giving the proper honor and dignity to Islam and Allah's Sharia, his, his norms for what he wants for us, the whole moral code of Islam and the way that the world is supposed to run according towards Allah's wish communicated in the Sharia, right? Like having a proper respect for it and etiquette with it and um, deference to it, right? Um, and then after that, yeah, you get into the sort of what most people think in English language is etiquette or manners, you know, saying please and thank you and holding the door open for other people and, you know, this sort of thing. But also part of that, you know, we get confused these days because we think that um, it's only about positive feelings and telling other people what they want to hear. And that's not true, right? Because your adab towards other people has to always be grounded in sincerity and wanting the best for them. And wanting the best for them involves where they're going to end up in the afterlife. And so there's going to be times when you need to maybe correct somebody or they step out of line and you need to tell them that and you need to advise them or even warn them, right? And that's part of your um, respect for them. That's actually part of your respect for them. Now, part of your, your nasiha, part of your loyalty and fidelity to that person is you're going to do it in a beautiful way. You're going to think real hard about how you're going to do it and you're going to do it in a way that maximizes the likelihood that they're going to take your advice and take your counsel, right? We're not talking about being crude or belligerent, um, you know, but but we also can't go to the other extreme and imagine that uh, adab is just, you know, being nice all the time, right? Adab is rooted in, it's not just a technique, right? That's, that's the idea of manners and etiquette that kind of the West has. Everything for us is rooted in the afterlife and it's rooted in the Sharia. And so it all comes back to that. Whatever guides people to a successful afterlife in the most beautiful way possible, that's, that's the etiquette and manners that we're looking for. And even if you're nice, if you're guiding people to the hellfire, that's not very good manners.